Hello everyone, I'm Defudge3004, welcome back to Planet Crafter. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me. I always enjoy hanging out with you. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get into some gaming. Last time we were here, there was a one year anniversary of the game, and they gave us some interesting things. One of the things that they gave us was we have the ability to make wheat, and we have some wheat growing in here. There's some wheat seeds, and this has been in the game, but they actually give it to us so we can actually get this earlier and some cocoa seeds we got that in a place that is over here a little ways let me go and take you back over to it if you missed the video it's a one year anniversary special that i have on my channel and you can go check that out if you would like to it is a very interesting video and i also got super alloy rods what that means is we can shoot up some more rockets and get some more stuff going and that's going to be a whopping lot of fun the way to find this place is once it's gone it'll be gone april 7th so if you haven't done it already you probably will not be able to there's some zeolite right here and if you go behind some rocks right over here i believe it's right back in this area i could be wrong i know that there is a place it's right here and it has some balloons out on it and down in here there is a nice little thing and my friend is pointing out about the rocket ship that looks like the balloons are like the smoke from it which i really wasn't paying any attention to so i think that looks pretty cool this will be gone here really soon and that's going to be one of the unfortunate things is this thing is not going to be good uh here for very long now there is a crafting station here this is not in the game apparently but i'm hoping that it will be in the game and you can see all the things you can make in here we will not be able to make the birthday cake one year birthday cake we'll not be able to make this after this is gone and we're not going to get around to it anyway so we don't have any honey we have one piece of honey and that's it so we're not going to get around to doing that which is unfortunate but we can do all of these other things so that is always good and of course there's some effigies of the rockets looks like there's some candy and stuff these things are not able to do anything with and there was some stuff on the table like oxygen and all that but looks like that has now been taken out and you can come down here over and over and over and get it but it looks like that has now been you know taken care of and then in this locker there was a whole bunch of stuff there was the seeds and the honey in the locker that i just tore apart that was sitting right there and this one was full of all kinds of stuff so there was that let's go ahead and get out of here let me get out of there and let's go back home before we run out of oxygen it really isn't too bad to find but it took me a little while to figure it out but at any rate we do have that and now we since we have the super alloy rods we can go and make a whopping lot more stuff i'm gonna have to make some alloy rods we we need the super alloy and we do have a lot of that plus we also need one piece of aluminum i'm gonna have to make a bunch more super alloy for all the rods that we need but we need one more part i do believe i think let me go look and see once i get my oxygen and everything else done if we do need that one more part all right we're pretty full as far as that goes let's go to here and let's go see about the mining thing that we need it is going to be one of these around here it's this one right here the deconstruction we don't have the methane cartridges that's right we can't make those yet because we just don't know about those so we're gonna have to wait for a while for that let me go get some iron put away real quick we'll slap some iron in here for the super alloy rods we need um eight super alloy and one aluminum let's go and make a rod that's going to help out the most eight of those and we need one piece of aluminum let's go make one of these that way we can have this and then we can begin making other things all right so now we got that now what we need to do is go see about making some other plants because last time we opened up a few more the last full episode not a special a one year anniversary we opened up the ability to get more plants and we are also on the way to growing trees 11.66 percent and my friend was also telling me that there is 
on the biomass screen, I do believe. Or is it in here? Okay, biomass down here. Or is it up here? Terraformation, okay, blueprints. So these are all the blueprints that we know or we have. And so we know all about those. So apparently there's quite a few. I think this opens up where they are at. So for the exoskeleton, we need 1.00 GTI. I'm not too sure exactly what that is. And underneath here for the tree spreader, six parts per million of whatever um i'm not too sure what that is i am thinking it's probably going to be like oxygen or it has to be underneath there because this is terraformation so that'll be a 1.0 gti and then this will be at six parts per per billion parts per million parts per i don't know what that is um ppb i'm not too sure and then under heat for the next thing nuclear fusion generator 750 so we're getting close to the heat that's good and then underneath this one gas extractor that's where we can get the methane i'll bet you i'll bet you we can get it there we got a long ways to go so we probably ought to get some more pressure going so we can get this up a little bit higher all right, first I want to go over and see about how much food do we have. We're doing okay food-wise. Let's go ahead and have that. And let's put a bit. Oh, let me see. Space food is upstairs, if I remember correctly, because I moved all the food around. I do remember doing that. It has just been a little bit. So space food should be in there. Let's just go ahead and put that in there. Okay, there we go. I want to make sure to click the right button because I didn't want to eat it, if at all possible, for right now because we just got done eating a squash. Now, what I want to do is go over and see what we need for the next rocket. That is going to be a lot of fun. Our trees are coming along pretty good. That's awesome. Let's go up here and let's go see what we need for satellites. Okay, drones visualization visualization rocket we can't get that because we don't have the circuit boards because we need the methane cartridge that one's out map information okay we can do this one displays points of interest on the map we can do this one pretty easy that one's not going to be too bad tier four satellite dish that's going to be very expensive okay tier three satellite dish we need two microchips and we already have this one open up now that's asteroids magnetic field plants we have that and seeds i don't believe that we can make the mutagen because we don't have the methane cartridges so what we can do is do the satellite tier three let's go make a two microchips and then we'll get that done so we can launch that guy up and then we can really see what the heck is going on Let's go see what it takes to make those microchips. I don't remember for 100% sure. I'm going to grab some water first real quick. And then that way we have that because we are getting a little bit low on water right now on our person. We need two microchip compasses. That is this right here. One and oops, two. All right, we got that. We have the super alloy rod. We need a rocket engine, and I think it's in here. We have a rocket engine right there. That's our last rocket engine that we have. Let's go look at rocket engines real quick. Rocket engine is iridium rod, two uranium, and a super alloy. How much of super alloy do we really have? We're getting very, very low. We need osmium, if I remember correctly, too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I wish we could pin stuff. That would be awesome if we could, but right now we just can't, so there is that. All right, I'm going to try to jump on the rocket again and just go see if we can knock it off balance because I think that would be funny just because. I don't know why. Just do. Let's go see about making this satellite tier 3 rocket. Sweet. I love all the solar panels and stuff on it that is so awesome
Darn. Missed our chance. Well, that's okay. Okay, he's gonna go up. He's gonna get all good bye -ed. And there he goes. Pop. Goodbye. Awesome. We also opened up a screen that shows all of the different satellites around us that we have launched up. Rockets, I mean, that we have launched up. Let's go see about looking at our Earth thing right here. Show interface. So now we have the tier three. Let's go ahead and go down, down, down. So this is as far down as we were able to go. Now we can go down here, because before we could only go this far. And now we can go down there, and now we can go down there. This is tier four. That's gonna be a little while. It looks like there's lots of water right out there. And this is as far as we can see. All right, that's the dark place over there. That should, let me see, it looks like it. That's a big ship, and we started right down here in the water. This is really cool that we have all of this going on that we can really see. You can see all those places right back there, and that's awesome. Okay, let's go make some more uranium, not uranium, um, super alloys. I'm going to go over there to that place where it is over there and get a bunch of that stuff made, and we'll make a bunch of super alloy. We need to gather resources anyway. And then I'll come back and we'll make a few more rods and see what else we can launch and try to get ourselves up and make some more things to get the pressure up. While gathering resources over here in this aluminum ME area, I opened up this locker and I kind of totally forgot about this. We do have a few supplies in here and there's some really good stuff in here. And then I opened up this locker and it's like, oh, sweet rocket engines. I totally forgot that we even had any in here. So that's good. At least we have some rocket engines. We can use those and we can use a lot of this other stuff. And that is going to be really awesome. I totally forgot that those are down there where that one year anniversary surprise was. And yeah, that's going to save us quite a bit of work and everything else. And that is so good. I'm going to go bait, make at least a couple of more super alloys. We'll see about putting in another drill and then we'll see about launching another rocket. Try to get to some places, see what we can do. We can't uh, do any more trees right now because we just don't have any more tree seeds. But I'm hoping that somehow we can get some more or something like that. And that would be really awesome if we could. So let's make a couple of more of these. And I'm going to do a couple of these. And that should be good. Now we just need, it looks like a cobalt and a magnesium for two more. So let me just go ahead and do that. That's not too terribly hard. That way we have that. And then we have another one done. Yay. So we have three of them. All right. Okay. We got that done. Let's go to Q and let's go see what it takes to do this. We need, cool, three super, oh wait, six super alloy and three osmium. Well, we do know we have osmium in here, so let's go ahead and do three. We're going to grab three more super alloys. We have those, and I think we have some more somewhere else, but I don't know if we grabbed all of them or not. In one of the chests way out there somewhere. Let's go put in another big drill, and that's going to help us out quite a bit. We'll probably just stick him. I don't know if we can put him right over here, but we will definitely try and see if we can. Q drill and looks like we can stick him right here let's turn him about like that right there okay that will definitely help that should take up our pressure quite a bit faster or so i hope that's going to be good that is hopefully going to get us to the next level a little bit quicker and the pressure should be going up quite a bit quicker than it was 1512.50 npa a second that's really good. We're getting up to 1,000 terraformation, and looks like the trees will be coming next, but the floor is at 16%. Let's go see about two alloy rods, eh, super alloy rods that is. So I'm going to have to pretty much grab all of this, and we'll see how many of those we can do. Okay, we need the aluminum. All right, we can do that once. Can we do that twice? We can do that twice. All right, 
Cool, so we grabbed that. Let's go see. We have one, su oops, wrong one, super alloy left. I guess we actually have three. Okay, we're getting super, super low and super, super alloy. That's awesome. Let's go over here. Let's go see what we can do to launch another rock A. Once we get the rock A done, then that would be really good too. Come on, climb the ladder. Thank you very much. Climb the ladder of success. All right. Four, we have this one done. The map information rocket. Let me see. We did tier. Okay, if we do tier four, we can't do that one yet. Okay, we did tier three. That's the one that we did. Map information rocket. Points of interest. We also just can't do that. We did that one. We have done that one. We have done that one. We have, we can't do that one. We've done that one, that one, and that one. And there's also this one. So we need another micro. Nope, we can't do it. All right. I guess we're about as far done as we are going to go. Map information rocket. We should do this one. Okay, this is the one we need. Two osmium and a microchip and a rocket. All right, let's go do the microchip. We'll grab two more osmium and then we'll go back and grab a rocket engine. Now, microchips are actually really easy once you kind of, you know, understand what it is. Let's do a microchip, silicon, magnesium, two aluminum. Silicon, magnesium, two aluminiums. Let's go make a microchip and we'll grab a rocket and an osmium. I should have grabbed that while I was up there, but I wasn't thinking about it. Okay, now let's go grab an osmium. And I think there is some in here. We can grab that. That'll free up a tiny bit of room. Let's go back, grab a rocket engine from over there where we were, where we saw that they were in that chest. That's going to help, and then we have one more rocket up there that's going to help us out quite a bit. And then, hopefully things will be changing and we'll be able to get to different places somehow, if there is a way to get to different places, or if there's even different places to get to. I don't know if there is or not, but, you know, we have explored everywhere that we can, as far as what we can get to, so there's got to be some way that we can get to other places. That's my only thought. Let's go ahead and go in here. Not my only thought, but my main thought. Let's grab that. And how about if we just go and take both of these engines, huh? That would be for the best. And you know what? This guy's super hard to make do. All right, cool. Let's get back over there. Let's go see about what we can do to launch that next rocket. And then we can see where we are from there. We just might have to wait for the pressure or something to come up to get to the next thing that we need. I think that we have everything that we need to make that rocket. Let's go ahead and make sure. I didn't really look. I just dropped a whole bunch of stuff off. And I'm hoping that we can do okay. That was actually a heck of a good jump. You do got to admit that. There we go. Map information rocket. Let's go to make a Viat. Sweet. Ooh, that's freaky looking, man. I do got to say that is one. Freaky looking rocket, isn't it? All right, we're going to stand right here. We're going to get up right here on this guy right, right there. And oh wait, we need to launch it, don't we? Okay. I knew that. Don't know what I'm thinking. Don't ask. Don't tell. Let's go see. Let's turn on our light. We can't really see anything right now anyway. And then we're going to jump on the rocket again and just go see what the heck we can do. Launch. Well, I messed it up all up again, but that's all right. So that's going to show the points of interest for us. That's going to be really, really good. You know, those guys sure do take off awfully fast. Let's get back home over here. We're going to have to get a little bit more food and water, and then we should be doing okay. And maybe we'll have some good points of interest to go and check out. And that sounds, well, actually pretty darn gone cool. All right. I don't know if it's going to be on here or not, but we will definitely go and see. Look at that. Points of interest. How do you like that? See you as things open. So there is definitely sulfur there. And it looks like 
zeolite. Okay, zeolite in there. And super alloy there. And yes, really, really cool things. Once we can get this next one open, then we'll be doing a lot better. Let's go look at this. And let's go see how close we are to... That will be this one here. So the pressure, 18, we need 100. That's a long, long ways away. Heat, we're getting closer, 750. Oxygen, okay, that one's going to be quite a ways away. And looks like for this is going to, we're getting close. We're getting close to that one. The terraformation is going to be the exoskeleton tier 3. We're getting really, really close to that one. Looks like the pressure is the main one that's slowing us down for as far as the gas extractor goes. Okay. Well, that's not bad. That's not really too bad at all. I guess we're doing A-OK -okay, as A-OK -okay as we're going to be. And that is good. What I'm going to do again is kind of wait for a little bit for the terraformation to get up to... 1.0 and then we should be getting the next thing open and again the pressure is definitely going up just not necessarily as fast as i would like and i might think about doing some more of that so i'm going to gather some more materials and continue making some more super alloys so back here when i was going to get some materials i noticed that there is some roots growing up out of here this is Pretty awesome. I have no idea where that goes, but you can see that there is some more zeolite. And what my friend that plays this game was saying is that it is, we're not growing zeolite. Is these roots and stuff is pulling the zeolite or pushing it out of the ground. And so it's taking up, it's lifting it out of the ground so we can go get it. And there's some new things that are coming along with it. That's pretty doggone awesome, I do got to say. So that's something that we can look forward to. Let's take all of that and we can go dump this stuff and then we can go and make some more super alloy and possibly get some more zeolite whenever we you know get that chance and there's plenty of it around that much I am sure so all this time I've been dinking around and what I totally forgot is we have a message from Riley get to the try to get to this place minus 248 by 4293 minus 248 huh let's make sure that we have enough food and water i completely forgot about that message let's grab one more of each and what i should probably do is for right now i'm just going to drop the mutagen in there and the honey in there and let's go make sure that we have enough oxygen take one more oxygen and Maybe it would probably be best to, we can do this. Okay, that one's full. Let's go grab some iron. So we can, excuse me, go farther. We're going to take three of those. We need two titanium and we need a silicon. As far as I know, that's all that we should need. Q, two, two iron, a titanium, and okay, and a cobalt. Once we do this, then we'll be able to make a place to go. And what I'm going to do is I want to write that down. That way I remember what it is so we can go to that. So let me go ahead and do that and then we will be on our way. All right, I got that done. I'm going to try to find those coordinates of minus 248. And it looks like I'm probably heading in the wrong direction. So that's going up down in the bottom left hand corner. I need to go to minus 248. So that's going to be way over here uh, this way. And 42 by 93. Okay, it's going to be somewhere back over there. All right, we're right about at the place that we need to be. Now what I need to do is look around minus 248 right in this area by 42 and 93 248 42 and 93 okay we're going the wrong way that way let's turn around this way um 248 
Okay, two forty eight, right? Somewhere around here. Can't see nothing out here, man. We may have to use some oxygen, but we'll see. Two forty eight forty two. Um I don't know. Okay, this is way high. I don't think I need to be up here. 240. I wonder if it's over there. So right here is fairly close. Let me continue looking around out here and see what I can find. I don't think this is what we were look coming for. I could be wrong. But I do notice that there is a... Yeah, there's a nice little place there. Let's get out our thing. Let's get this built real quick. Let's get this guy right there. Let's get our oxygen up. And let's go see what the heck is going on up there. I don't know. We got to go check this out. I don't even know how to get up there. So this is going to be kind of interesting. All right, let's go. Whoa, okay, so we have a new area, do we? Okay, this is very interesting, huh? Looks like we have a brand new area. This is not where we would need to be right now, but, um, oh, wow, holy moly. Rocket engine, I'm taking those. I'm probably just going to try to take all that and what it the heck read message what was supposed to be a fun relaxing time turned into a nightmare a five-week space cruise across the lesser known parts of the universe unfortunately our stupid crew was not able to respond to a seemingly minor incident and here we are burying the few bodies we were able to retrieve from the burning wreck what will happen to us now will most certainly be similar we are heading west and see how long we can survive i would say a few days at most some survivors of the Cinetat 2, at least for now. So year 3043. Uh oh. Look at all that stuff, man. Holy moly, that's a lot of stuff there, man. Yes, that is. Okay. Well, we found a place. Getting back into here is going to be a lot of fun but we did find a place we found a waterfall that's always 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 good and i wonder if it's that thing right down there that i noticed that blue thing i don't know if it is or not but it is very interesting that that is even there okay what i think i should do whoa exoskeleton tier three got it is go down there let's go see what maybe wherever that blue is let's go check out this we're gonna take those there's nothing in there that we don't need okay for right now what i'm gonna do is probably drop this lesser stuff whoa butterfly dome we're opening all kinds of new stuff now all right let's go ahead and build this one more time before we have to Oh, shoot. Okay, that's why we needed that stuff. I knew that. I was testing myself. Yes, sir. -y. Um, We're going to take that and those, and then we're going to build this one more time because we need it. Let's put that down right there, and let's put that down right there. Okay, cool. What all do we have that we just really, really don't need? We have another cobalt. Let's go drop the cobalt in here. So we can save some room and let's go and have a piece of food. So we have that. Okay, let's go get our oxygen all the way up. Let's go see about whatever that is, that blue thing, wherever in the heck that is. I don't know where that is. And let's go see if we can find that because that might be worth finding. We're going to go down here, I think. Wherever down here is, I don't know, but we're going to try to find it. Should be right down over here. I'm thinking, I'm hoping, maybe, possibly, but I don't know. We got to go see. All right. 
We ended up back over here really quick, I do gotta say. That was a new way to get through. Okay. So, where is that drilly looking thing? We gotta go find that. So, let me see what I can do there. I do believe that I have found what it is. It is a place right here with this thing. Open Warden's Altar. Okay, Warden's Key. Let's take that. And now we have a new area to go to. See? Now, I am going to head back over here this way. Let's go get our oxygen refilled. Over here at this place, we just got to make our way over to, I believe, the orange beacon over here. So that is the Warden's Key. Awesome, 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 awesome sauce. All right, let's do that. Now, can we? I do believe that we can. Let's go to Q. Let's put in a chest right there. Open that baby up. Drop in that that and that and we might as well just go and put in that too now we have the warden's key all right i don't think we need any aluminum for anything q let's go make sure okay we have that okay cobalt what happened to the cobalt we had a cobalt okay we lost a cobalt i'm gonna go grab a piece of cobalt so we have that just in case we have to make anything and now we have a new area to go to, and that is going to be awesome. So that is right over here. That is right there where we can put the key. All right. We will do this. We're just not going to do it right this very minute, mainly because this is going to take us into a new area. And that is going to be exciting. But what I'm going to do is stop right over here at this place. And as soon as we can get through that area, we'll go back, we'll make some more stuff, and we will see what the heck is going on. So now we can open up the Warden's Vault, and that sounds super duper exciting. This is Planet Crafter. Thank you for joining me here. We have new areas, and I'm super, super excited for it. I noticed that drill thing some time ago, but I totally forgot about it, and now we know where that is. It is down there where that is. That's where you get the Warden's Key. And we can go and do a whole lot more stuff now. And that is going to be fun. If you've enjoyed the episode, drop a like on the video. And we will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.